Hi there, this is Steve from HATM Design and Web and today I'm going to show you how with WordPress you can have your own site and update it all by yourself without the need of a guy like me, of a web designer. Uh, you can put, add your own blog posts and once we've designed the site for you and created it um, you can add your own blog posts, you can add new pages uh, you can do pretty much anything you want with it. Um, so I'll get right to it and show you one of the sites that we're currently working on for a client. It's a simple site for a charity called We Zimbabwe. Basically, it's halfway done, so uh, I know it looks a bit basic, but it's getting there. Uh, basically, what you do is we would design the site for you, and you would, uh, as you can see, there are three pages here, four pages, I guess. And what you would do is you would then you would go to your site and type in WP admin and then press return and it will then ask you to log in. You see the WordPress and you'll have a username and a password. So uh, they will be sent to you once we've designed your site and uh, it's all ready and created for you and uh, I'm using a password uh, creator so I mean a password saver so I'll just add that and it adds it all in and then you'll see this interface uh, this may look a little daunting at first, but not to worry. Uh, I'll just go through these quickly with you. You've got how many posts you've done, how many pages you've created, and how many categories. You also have tags, which I'll go into in a little while also. And comments, if you've had comments, if you're using a blog, comments you've approved, comments that are pending your approval, and comments that are spam. There's a great little application within WordPress that uh, tells you if it's spam or not, and you can assess whether it is. So basically, uh, let's open the, page, the site up normally, how uh, your viewers will see it, and let's go to the blog. Here is the blog, and post here on something. So this is the post, and I'll show you how to do one of these. As you'll see here, it's written on May the 6th, 2010 by admin. You can, uh, you can change this to your specific name or your company name in uncategorized. That's your categories for your blog. Uh, I'll talk to you about that in a second. So what we want to do is you'll see on the left here we have a posts. And what you'll do is if you want to add a new post, you'll obviously click add new. When it loads, you'll type in your title. Let's just put an example in. Hello there everyone. And then we'll type a bit more in into the main area. It's nice to see you. And you can do all sorts of things with this. It's not as complicated as you might imagine it is. It's a lot, lot like, if you know Microsoft Word, or even if you don't, it's a little like that. And basically, uh, you can bold things just simply by clicking the bold button. You can underline them. Uh, you can put a strike through them. And you can even make certain things H2 h2 tags and I'll tell you what h2 tags are. h2 are basically like pretty much exactly the same as your title and the likes of Google and Yahoo and the other search engines love the h2 tags so I would put quite important information in there so let's just put something in there that's important hello from we Zimbabwe oops and it's left the other things in let's just take those out simply by clicking them and we'll make it a H2, a heading 2. As you'll see, it looks bigger in here. It, it will look different in there. But uh, as you, when you first open it up, it will look like this. But if you simply click this icon, which is the show hide the kitchen sink, because it's a bit of everything, then you'll find that here, where you can change it from paragraph, which is your normal text, address, which is your normal text, it made italic, heading 1, heading 2, and, and so on and so forth. Um, this is your underline, the colour of your text, um, uh, you can remove the formatting, you can add media and uh, much more. You can add pictures by simply clicking this, you can add video and you can add other media or audio should I say and add media with that as well. And then as we go down you can add an excerpt if you want your blog post to appear as excerpts rather than full posts. You can add that in there and uh, when it displays on the blog page here it will just be a small section of text that you have chosen. 
Send trackbacks isn't necessarily important, but what it what it does is if you have uh, quoted from a particular site, or if you've taken the article from that particular site, um, then you can send the trackback to exactly where you got it from. Like if you got it from yahoo.com, you would put in here yahoo.com, that trackback would go back to them, and they would see that you've quoted them. It wouldn't be a problem, but, uh, you know, that is, uh, that's just, you know, it's, it's like a, a legal thing. If you've not tracked back to them, then uh, they could get quite annoyed with you. <laughs> um, you can allow comments or disallow them. You can allow the trackbacks and pingbacks for this page. If you don't want people to copy, you know, you can get rid of that, although they might copy it anyway. You can post the image on the right or the left. And uh, we'll also add some plugins for you uh, if, if required uh, or if we feel that it's appropriate for such search engine optimization. And uh, there's other uh, plugins that you can get for this just to enhance your experience even more and your, sp your specific specifications. Bit of a mouthful there. Now the categories are what I was already telling you about. And categories are here. See it says uncategorized here. I want to show you, let's add a new category. Uh, let's just call it charity and click add and it's already selected it so now we want to put this in the charity category and also there's tags here tags are quite important to Google and the like like if you put in uh, if you put in Africa for example then uh, you know it will go into Google and Google will recognize those tags as posts about Africa and uh, they like the tags also so you can add those and then select them Add as many or as few as you like. And then after that, if you like, you can simply publish. Or you can preview it. Or you can, if you want to come back to it but don't want to publish it onto the web, you can simply click Save Draft. But for this example, I'm going to say Publish. Okay, Post Published. You can view the post by that, but we're simply going to go back here and press Refresh. And we go here. And there it is. Hello there, everyone. Uh, as you can see, written on May 16th, 2010 by admin in charity. That's the category. Zero comments. You can leave a comment. Hello there, everyone. That's it. Bolded with a strike through it. And that's your H2 tag. And the tag Africa. So that's how you can do posts. I mean, your own uh, blog posts using WordPress. Uh, I'll quickly go through pages with you. You can add new pages or you can edit current ones. Here's all the current ones. If you simply click add new and we put charity onto here, they like to have the uh, lowercase and just do a little of this. And you'll also hear it's added uh, the name of the page by uh, what you've called it. However, you can change that if you like simply by pressing edit and retyping and pressing OK. Um, and that's that's simply how you would do uh, pages. Click publish and we'll see how that looks. Okay, page published. So now we go back to the blog. Watch the banner at the top. There it is, charity. It's added it right there. And uh, you can add as many as those you want, but obviously if you add too many it's going to go onto new row and it won't look very nice. Plus you don't want too much on the site because it'll just look a bit too confusing. Uh, we'll delete that because they don't want that. But uh, that's the basics of WordPress, guys. And uh, it's, you know, it's a really great uh, platform that we love to use. Because not only do we love to use it, it's great for developers, but it's also very friendly with Google. And it also means that the client, you the client, once you've, uh, you've got the site template, you've got your own individual site, uh, you can you can do what you want with it basically. It's, you're not restricted to having to contact a web designer and being charged to add a new page with content. You can add images, you can add blog posts, you can add new pages and it's all extremely simple. If you're interested in get, getting a WordPress design from us or a web design uh, we can suggest what would be best for you and uh, what you might be interested in seeing in your own website if you're not entirely sure yourself. Uh, just contact us. If you're already watching us on our site, I uh, hope this has been helpful for you. We hope you enjoyed it and we'd be glad to help you out if you decided to contact us. Thanks a lot for watching.